In this class, let us solve model question paper 1, which is issued by Karnataka Secondary Education Examination Board for the year 2021, means current year. In this uh, class, let us solve quadratic equation. First, we have to read the instructions uh, in the question paper, which is uh, very important. In the chapter quadratic equation, some points are there to remember. The standard form of the quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Quadratic formula x is equal to minus b plus or minus b square minus 4ac upon 2a. Discriminant on which uh, we used to detect the nature of the quadratic equation is the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation is b square minus 4ac. We can find uh, the roots of the quadratic equation by factorization also or by using the quadratic formula. Let us see the questions from the question paper. Question number 3 is on quadratic equation. 10 which is also quadratic equation question. Each of them carry one mark. One mark. This is two mark question. This is also two mark question which has internal choice. 25th question is three mark question which has internal choice. Let us solve the questions. Third question. If the roots of the quadratic equation x square plus 6x plus k is equal to 0 or equal, the value of k is, we have to think about the discriminant. If the roots are equal, they are given, it is equal, b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. So what is b square here? 6 square minus 4k, 4ac is equal to 0. So, 4k is equal to 36, k is equal to 9. The answer is 9. You need not do this by using paper and pen. All these are mental mathematics. The next question means 10th question. Write the standard form of the quadratic equation. You know it very well. ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Solve by using the quadratic formula. x square minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. The given equation is x square minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. Quadratic formula is x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. Here a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 3, c is equal to 1. So, x is equal to by substituting the respective values instead of minus b, minus minus 3, plus or minus, minus 3 square, square root of minus 3 square, minus 4 into 1 into 1 upon 2 into 1. That is equal to minus minus 3 is equal to 3, 3 is minus 3 square is 9. Minus 4 into 1 into 1, that is minus 4 upon 2. So, x is equal to 3 plus or minus root 5 upon 2, which is the answer. You have to highlight this. Find the discriminant of the quadratic equation 2x square minus 6x plus 3 is equal to 0 and hence write the nature of the roots. The equation is this, which is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. If not, you have to write, here a is equal to 2, b is equal to minus 6, c is equal to 3. Discriminate, they have asked and also the nature of the roots. Discriminant is minus Sorry, b square minus 4ac. You have to substitute the values instead of minus b square minus 6 minus 4 into 2 into 3. 6 square is 36 minus this is 24. 
which is equal to 12. Then we have to think about this result. Need not write. It is greater than 0. So it has two distinct real roots. Since b square minus 4ac is greater than 0, the given equation has two distinct real roots. That's why it's question. You have to prove that it has distinct real roots. Similar fashion we have to do. The given equation is x square plus ax minus 4 is equal to 0 which is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Here a is equal to 1, b is equal to a. Be careful. c is equal to minus 4. The nature of the roots depend upon the discriminant b square minus 4 is. You have to substitute the values. Instead of b, you have to put a here. Minus 4 into 1 into minus 4 which is equal to a square minus minus plus 16, which is greater than 0. Even if a has negative value, the square of it becomes positive. So, this value is always greater than 0. As usual, you have to think about this only. You need not try it. So we can, it can be verified that b, here b square minus 4ac is greater than 0. So the given equation has two distinct real roots. Hence prove. 25th question. Sum of the natural numbers is 9 and sum of the reciprocals is 9 by 20. Find the numbers. Let the numbers be x and y. Sum of the numbers is uh, 9. So x plus y is equal to 9. So y is equal to 9 minus x. Then sum of the reciprocals. E is 1 by x plus 1 by 9 minus x. That is equal to 9 by 20. 9 minus x, you have to take the LCM, x into 9 minus x, you know the process. Here x and x get cancels, 9 and 9 also get cancels, 9 ones are 9. So x into 9 minus x is equal to 20. 9x, you have to multiply, minus x square is equal to 20, you have to write it in the standard form x square minus 9x plus 20 is equal to 0. So the equation is x square minus 9x plus 20 is equal to 0. On factorizing the above or otherwise you can also use quadratic formula. You have to split 9 into 4 minus 4 and 5. So minus 5x minus 4x plus 20 is equal to 0. If you multiply these two, you will get plus 20. On taking the common things here, grouping and taking the common things, x is common here, x minus 5, here 4 is common, x minus 5, that is equal to 0. So x minus 4, 5 into x minus 4 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 5 or x is equal to 4. So the required numbers are 4 and 5. The perimeter and the area of rectangular playground are 80 meter and 384 meter square respectively. Find the length and breadth of the playground. Let the breadth be x and the length is y. Then its perimeter is 2 into y, this plus, this plus, this plus, this. So, 2 into x plus y. According to the given problem, 2 into x plus y is 80. You can uh, 
bring 2 here. So x plus y is equal to 40. y is equal to 40 minus x. And also we are given area of the rectangular playground is 384. So x into y is equal to x into y is equal to 384. Instead of y, we can put 40 minus x. So, x into 40 minus x is equal to 384. So, 40x minus x square is equal to 384. Writing in the standard form, x square minus 40x plus 384 is equal to 0. The given equation is this x square minus 40x plus 384 is equal to 0. On factorizing the above, x square minus 40, we have to split them into minus 24 minus 60. 384. So, taking the common things outside, x into x minus 24. Here minus 16 is common, minus 16 into x into minus x minus 24, that is equal to 0. So x minus 24 into x minus 16 is equal to 0, x is equal to 24 or x is equal to 60. So length and breadth of the rectangular playground are 16 meter and 24 meter.